Hello, this is going to be a short word of encouragement from John chapter 14, verse 6, where Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Uh, no one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And this came as a reply to a question by Thomas who said, Lord, we don't know where you are going and we don't know the way. And just before this, Jesus had said, I am going away to prepare a place for you, a home for you in my father's house. And if I go away to prepare a place for you, I will come back for you and take you to be where I am in heaven with the father. So our home is with the father in heaven. And so Jesus says, I am the way to heaven. I am the life and I am the truth. This is a groundbreaking, remarkable statement that if you and I want to get to know God and want to be with God, there's only one way to God, and that is through his son, Jesus Christ. There is no other way. It's a bit like in an American football game where if you are kicking a field goal, you can only kick that ball one way through the upright posts. If you try and kick the ball through the upright post from the other direction, from behind the goal, it doesn't count as a goal. You will never get a score in American football. There's only one way to get that goal and that score on the scorecard, and that is by kicking the ball through the post uh, in, the, in, the, the, in the laws of the game. And in the, in the Old Testament, there was a, a, a tent. It was like a dwelling place in the desert. And there was an entrance at the front of it and there was a kind of a wall all the way around it and there was one entrance and then to get to god only one day of the year on the day of atonement in leviticus 16 you had to go through the curtain to the holy of holies and sprinkle some blood on the mercy seat the blood of a bull and a goat on the mercy seat and it was only one day of the year and the high priest went through this one way and confessed his sin and the sin of his nation and the sin of his people. Well, Jesus now tells us that he is the way. There's only one way to Father God, and he's the life. If you want to lead a life here on earth filled with value and, and value for the now and value for eternity, it's only in Christ is there life, like he is the life. And Jesus is talking here about eternal life, not just life in my blood that gives me life. He's talking about eternal life. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 9, Paul tells us, and he wrote this while he was in prison, he wrote that the fullness, the completeness of God is found in Jesus Christ in bodily form. And so Jesus is right now in heaven in a body, a resurrected body, can never be uh, destroyed, and he's making prayers for you and I. So friends, there's only one way to God and it's through Jesus. And I remember as a young 20 year old reading this scripture, I, I actually remember it, I remember reading this and going, whoa, if this is true, if Jesus is who he says he is, and if his word is true, that he is the way and the truth and the life, then I am a way off following Christ. And it was at that point in my life uh, I chose to follow Jesus because I was confronted with the truth. The truth being that if Christ is the only way and the way, then I have to change my life. And by the grace of God, you know, God gives, God gives us faith to repent and he gives us the strength and the gift of salvation um, when we turn to him. And then we follow him as the truth. Jesus says, I am the truth. And so through my 25 plus years of being a Christian, I follow Jesus. It's not always easy, um, but every day, every week, every month, every year, keep following Jesus and his way, forgiveness and love and prayer and thankfulness. So um, I thank God for all this te technology that I can speak about this subject on. All right, so that's my message today. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God the Father except through me. God bless.